Alright, Shalom. We we'll praise this to Yahweh, Barsham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And Shalom to you, sincere Akim. Um, we're part of GMS London Camp. Um, this is just going to be an open forum um, where we're just going to get into the scriptures. Today, funny enough, it's Halloween as well. So we're going to, you know, talk about that and other events within the news. So if anyone's got, got scripture, yeah, I've got something to start off. Exodus 22 and 18. Thou, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. That's right. The Bible says that we shall suffer a witch to live. In this time that we're living at, um, basically you have people, these people are basically witches on a lower level. Because when you're joining in, um, when you're joining, partaking in the society, you're basically a low level witch because you're, you, you're actually utilizing the power of the society, which a lot of it is witchcraft. Today, for example, being um, Halloween. Halloween has pagan origins. So these people partaking in going out there and basically um, trick-or-treating, they're basically um, out there conjuring up them same spirits. Mm -hmm. Guys, you got some information? Uh, well, it's just something from a wiki. I just typed in Halloween. It came from wiki. You right. mentioned pagan, so I'll just yeah. read this for you. It says... So I um, just typed in Halloween in Google and it comes up on Wikipedia. It says, Today's Halloween customs are thought to have been influenced by folk customs and beliefs from the Celtic-speaking countries, some of which are believed to have pagan roots. Uh, Jack Santino of Folk Loris writes that there was, there was throughout Ireland an uneasy truce existing between customs and beliefs associated with Christianity and those associated with religions that were Irish before Christianity arrived. Histor um, well, that Okay, it goes into more. Historians Nicholas Rogers exploring the origins of Halloween notes that while some folklorists have detected its origins in Roman feast of Pomona, the goddess of fruits and seeds, or in the festival of the dead, the festival of the dead, they worship spirit, like they, um, they dress up, you know, worship, today they do it like they dress up in ghost costumes and um, they worship the dead, man. They go trick-or-treating in ghost costumes, worship, worshiping spirits. You've got people dealing with Ouija boards, um, right now as we speak, you know, conjuring up Demons. satanic vibrations, yeah. you know, so that's what they're doing today, man. I mean, that, that was a bit on it, but I'll read a bit more and bring it out. You have to bring out the points. Get the, yeah. Right. It right. says, um, the goddess of fruit sees a festival of the dead called Par Paranatalia, or it's more typically linked to the Celtic festival of Samhain, Sam 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 which comes from the old Irish for summer's end. Samhain pronounced Sa win or so 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 in was the first and most important of the four quarter days in the medieval gaelic calendar and was celebrated on the 31st of october and the first of november in ireland okay um, statement, uh, so that right there shows you the pagan roots of halloween man okay. and these people are basically partaking in it okay. you got anything else that was it that was, that was it on <coughs> okay another point to be taken from that is um when you deal with a satanic calendar, I'm looking up some information. This is on the um, website, the for for Forbidden Knowledge, underneath the satanic calendar. And it basically reads, um, October 1st, October 31st, All Hallows Eve, Halloween, one of the two most important nights of the year. Okay, Attempts to, to are made to break the bond which is keeping the doors to the underworld closed. Blood and sexual rituals, sexual association with demons, animal and human sacrifice, male and female. So he basically said, look, this is one of two most important nights of the year. So this this actual night that we're in, I'm going to get Isaiah 47. This night that we're actually in is, a, is a, a high holy day for them. Even the word Halloween, I believe, hallow basically means holy. So it's an, um, ween goes back to um, evening. So it's the holy evening. So one of the two most important days of the year for these devils, man. And this is what it says. It says, one of the two most important nights of the year, attempts are made to break the bond which is keeping the doors to the underworld closed. So this is actually a pivotal night for the, for the elites, okay? The Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the, you know, DuPonts, the Gettys, all the different um, bloodlines of the elites of the society. Edomites, the devil the Bible speaks of, they're trying to conjure up them demons to basically bring them into this 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 land, man, uh, into this um, this um, dimension. 
Mm -hmm. So they can basically achieve their enterprise. Can I quickly read this? Yeah, for you? go ahead, bro. Because it says, um, it says Samhain Kalan Gaif marked Gay I think it says there. It's what, yeah, 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 really marked the end of the harvest season, <clears throat> beginning of winter or the the darker half of the year, like Beltane Kalan Mai. It was seen as a as a lim liminal time when the boundary between this world and the other world thinned. This meant the Aosai pronounced ear she. I can't. Not the best at pronouncing it. The spirits or fairies could more easily come into our world and were particularly active. That's right. So the spirits are active. That's why when you have all these people out there with a trick or treating. That's obviously if you look look that up. The origin of trick or treating. Okay, can't. Because I'm sure there'll be something to do in that. Um, something with that because basically, you know, they got these people out there trick or treating. But the reason why they got them doing that, they're, they're pushing for that vibration. And then usually this time of the year, that's when you have a lot of um, people go missing. And you can run around with that mask and a lot of things can be done during that time. A good example of that is um, the movie, um, uh, we were watching clips from it the other day. Oh, uh, um, the, um, Anarchy? Not Anarchy, it's not called that. It's the Purge. The, the Purge. Purge. You have people going out with masks, you know, mm -hmm. basically like masks of politicians and whatnot, and basically killing people. And then also to counter in as well is... Um, the um the crazy cl clown whatever that bullshit is man the crazy clown bullshit that's going on they're basically heightening up the tension so it's a mask for them to actually push forward with that demonic energy and these people are receiving it happily okay run the scripture okay yeah. Isaiah it's got a good point in there as well for you yeah let's read that first and then we'll go on to the back. okay Isaiah forty seven and and um, shall I jump straight to the yeah to the sure. point yeah. okay Isaiah forty seven and ten for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none seeth me. That's right. Thou hast trusted in thy wick. Talking about you Rothschilds and you Rockefellers, man. They trusted in their wickedness. But you believe none see you, but we see you, man. The Lord the Lord said that his angels as a t ten, a, a like ten thousand times bright brighter than the sun. the sun. So they see you, man. And guess guess who's relaying that information? Who they're relaying that information to? Us, man. Amos 3 and 7. It says the secrets are revealed unto his prophets. So we're coming out there, bold face, with a bold to your face, you know, proclaiming it um, via the internet, conveying it spiritually, casting down strongholds, man. And and all these secrets that you've kept in secret, we're bringing it forth and shining it to the people. First and foremost, the elect of our nation. And then, you know, and you you demons as well, you see what we're doing. And, you know, you're shocked. You, you'd be shocked when all the information we're bringing forth basically shows you that we're, we're bringing out the right information, man. And it's really coming towards your downfall. All right? That's right. That's right. It says, right. Thou hast said, none seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge have perverted thee. Has and perverted thou, thee. It led you astray, God. And thou hast, uh, the wisdom and thy knowledge have perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. Yep. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. And mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. That's right. Thou shalt not be able to be to put it off. Okay, go and read. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. That's so, right. World War Three, man. World War Three is gonna come, and you can't stop that, man. That's why the elites have their secret bunkers, man. They have their dumps, you know, the um, deep underground military bases, um, and then they have their um, Arctic cities, and then they have their Elysiums. You know, in the heavens, their little um, space stations. Mm -hmm. They have all of that shit, man, because they know they're ready, man. Mm -hmm. We even got, we got an article that came out um, three days or so ago, a couple days ago, where Putin was um, had um, was um, contacted by Barack Obama, and they're basically talking about an alien invasion, man. Okay? So they, they know that, look, overall, on top of their little dispute of World War III, which is going to happen... Because the Bible said so. They know that a higher power is coming to take them out. Man. That's right. They know that. Okay, go on. Come, uh, it says, it says <clears throat> Stand now with thine enchantment, yeah. with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast laboured from thy youth. That's right. Stand now with, since your youth, man. Esau, you've been known for doing this since the days of your youth, man. Everything you've dealt with, uh, witchcraft and wizardry, really, you know, witchcraft is deemed as rebellion, okay? What, what, what? A rebellion is a sin of uh, witchcraft. Is a si rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. That's right. So it's, it's akin to um, 
Rebellion is akin to witchcraft. And what's the greatest rebellion that you've done? You've done it in the time of Cain, man, when you killed your brother. And then the Lord inquired of you. And he inquired of Abel, your brother. And he said, am I my brother's keeper? And then you were damned from that day, man. That's, that's how you've always been into witchcraft, man. That's since the days of your youth. That's one way to, you know, take, extrapolate from that. Because you're dealing with witchcraft. Go on. It says, Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast laboured from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. Thou art weary. That's right, and you've always dealt with witchcraft, like, you know, since the time, the inception, you know, Rothschilds and Rockefellers, they don't deal with, um, when they came to be, um, starting with Moses and Shabawa, basically he was known as a rabbi, but you know when dealing with Judaism, their book isn't really the Torah, like they like to say, the Torah and Tanakh, it ain't really that, what it is is the, um, the book of Kabbalah, man, I can't remember the, the specific name of the book, Talmud, the Talmud, that's right, the Talmud, but they deal with um, Kabbalah, man, which is basically witchcraft, so that's something you've been dealing with since the days of your youth, and that's basically allowed you to forward yourself and your agenda, so that's what you've laboured in since your youth, can't read. It says, Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Yeah. Let now the astrologers and stargazers and monthly prognosticators. That's a lot of that's a lot of people they got on their payroll, man. Different forms of witches and warlocks that wait working on their behalf. It's saying, look, gather them all together, man, and, and get try try to work out a way to deal with the, the prophecies that are coming out from the Bible. Go and read them. It says uh, the stargazers and monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things. That, yeah, that try, tell them to try and save you, man, because they can't save you. They ain't got no power. The power is in the name of Yahweh Bar Shammai Al Shai, which you know. That's why down in Holborn, in London, central London, the city of London, the city state, you got the uh, Freemasonic Hall with the name of Yahweh on it, okay, and the Assyrian script, because you know that name has power and might, okay? Go and read on. It says, Stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Behold, they shall be a stubble, the fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the That's flame. right, there ain't a damn thing you can do about this destruction that's coming your way, man. They, the Lord, you ain't, there's no escaping, man. You know, the Lord, you, it tells you in Jeremiah that you're surely going to drink the, the cup, man. You, the, you can't get out of it, man. The Lord's on to you crackers, man. And you Rothschilds, Elin Rothschild, you're going to get it, man. You... When when you roll out of whatever wherever the fuck you find you at, man, you, when your house shy comes, when we come, Lord willing, we you know where those men, the elect men, when we're gathered together into the chariots and we come to find your fucking pale ass, man, you're gonna roll out looking sorry, man. You're probably gonna shit yourself for fair, man. You know, go and read on. Can't. It says it says deliver themselves. So they shall not be. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm. Up. To warm up, that's right. Ultimately, that's talking about you know all the Edomites because the only people that are going to be preserved through that fire is you elites, man. And actually, and the reason why you're going to be preserved is because why you have those again underground units, Elysium City, you know, all them kind of things. But basically, that shows you that you believe the prophecies, you know where it is, man, because you ain't going to stay in America, you ain't that bold, man, you know where it is because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. with all everything we're reading, that's what you're doing. And you know that's what you're doing, man. Go and read. Uh, it says, it says, uh, it says, thus shall they be unto, un, thus shall, shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast laboured, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander every one in his quarter. None shall save thee. That's right. None shall save thee. That's right, man. You got to drink that cup. I don't know if you got any information you want to bring out anything. Yeah. <clears throat> Basically, we've well, just done. Sam Hain, man, because Sam Hain is like pretty much yeah, yeah. the um, the opposite of Beltane, man. Like Beltane, they have that fire festival. These pagans will be dressing up, going in the woods, burning fires, and all all that all that witchcraft they get into. But it's like they do the same thing on this day. This is another day of high holy days, man. And the thing is, is like the lower level witches will celebrate it, but it's really like the elites that are trying to channel power through this, man. Because mm -hmm. these guys, they have plans. You've seen like um. In the news, between Russia and America, it's been escalating slowly. The situation um, in Ukraine has been getting dragged back up from, um, like, from into everyone's into the forefront of people's memories. And the same thing in Syria, man. That's been like they're trying to more or less 
build, they've been building Russia up as the aggressor, man. And that's going to continue, man. These elites, they've, like, you know, been waiting for that October surprise. So, you know, the elites, if they've got something planned, today might be the day they pull it off, man. They might be channeling the power of the day, you know. That's that's what these guys do. But I wanted to just get um little article, man. Just, like, it's titled, um, Modern Paganism. 13 rituals to se celebrate Sam Hain. So this is what these pagans will actually be getting down with, man. Because, like, them ignorant fucks that you see, like, walking down, up and down Oxford Street with, like, pretend slit throats um, put on their necks and, 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 and vampire and, and, and joker costumes. Them guys don't understand what they're, what they're reverencing, man. Mm -hmm. It says, um, like, just based on the skip down to the, um, the list. And it basically has got, like, um... What do you call it? It's like giving instructions on thinking they've got like number three is a Samhain ceremony, which is basically they'll cook some food, recite some words, then go out and make a wicker man and like basically bring it like pr um, pray over it to Satan, then bring it in the house and then feed it and 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 all, all them things, man. And then like another one is um, what's the next one? Guide the spirits. They'll use candles to try and channel spirits. Visit a cemetery. Um, what was the other one? Hold a seance, bonfire magic, divin the, um, di divina divinatory guidance, man. So these are the powers that the elites are actually, they'll actually be channeling, man. Because they'll actually inquire, they'll actually inquire of the spirits, like, yo, man, like, is it a good time to put this through, man? Or, so, that's, that's what they'll actually get down with, man. And that's why, yo, man, but then it's, it's the most high, it's them demons they be speaking with, the most high is running them, man. So let me read this, um, Job 5 and 12, it says, He dis disappointeth the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the fraud is, um, carried headlong. So, he's going to disappoint their devices, man. The thing is, this witchcraft that Esau's got, Esau wasn't even the one that discovered it, man. He's basically just, um, adopted it. From from all these like previous like mainly from the Hamites yeah. and all the different like power sources that channeled it before, man. So it's like now they've acquired it, they've they've started using it and they've been given the rulership. They're getting puffed up, man. They're really thinking they they they're able gonna be able to bring in their new world order. But yo, most I said like it's gonna disappoint their devices, man. So that witchcraft is gonna come a point in time where they ain't gonna work anymore, man. And all, all these little plans have got going. The most highest plan is going to... This is the most highest plan. So his, how he wants it to run, that's how it's going to run, man. And that's that's why, hey, it's a beautiful thing, man. That's why you see these witches out there. They're really pr they're really thinking, yeah, they've, they've got an edge. Just because they can do a couple spells and certain things. But, hey, man, we've got the ultimate edge. Yeah, that's that's why they have their witches come up to the camp. Like, we had a guy come up to the camp. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this weekend just gone. And a, a good point to take in is that we had the last Sabbath of, of um, the, this weekend was a, uh, basically the last Sabbath of the month and then the new moon, all right? So with that, basically from Friday to Saturday and Saturday to Sunday, up until now, it's basically just been a, 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 a ongoing role of um, lunar activity, all right? And when you deal with a satanic calendar, Anytime there's new moons or full moons, that's basically an, a, a Sabbath to them as well. They basically have ceremonies they go through. So with this being one of their two high holy days and all those um, things they basically do during the time of, um, you know, their high holy days, you know, um, Halloween, it shows you that they're really trying to magnify their power to the highest degree. And we're at the time of the end, man. You see the things going down with Russia, man. Russia's ready to go to, go to blows with um, America, man. They had a poll done in Russia where they said they had basically the majority of the people in Russia basically said that they believe World War III is coming. You had 40, 40 million Russians involved in a drill to prepare for nu a nuclear war, nuclear fallout or whatever may have you, man. Go ahead, bro. This is Revelation 11 and 14. The second war is past and behold, the third war will come up quickly. The point being quickly, all right? It shows you, <laughs> look... This it this it ain't slow, man. There ain't no there ain't no time wasting, man. It's slow to you fools because you ain't you ain't thinking about it spiritually, man. This shit's ready to go down, man. 
The main thing is the prophecies that are really holding it up. Okay? That's the main thing. Alright? You got anything else? You got read that information on trick or treating. Okay. I got two like yeah. points from uh ah, so lucky up. Sorry about that. Um, it is. No 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 no. Sorry bro. That's the one. Yeah, like, it says, read the information. This is on the Wikipedia trick or treating origins. It says uh, Wikipedia trick or treating origins. It says trick or treating is a Halloween <laughs> custom for children in many countries. Children in costumes travel from house to house asking for treats such as candy or in some cultures money with the phrase trick or treat. The trick is usually idle threat to perform mischief on the homeowners or their property if not if no treat is given to them. And it typically happens during the evening of October 31st. Some ho hom homeowners signal that they are willing to hand out treats for example by putting up Halloween decorations outside their door. Others might simply leave treats on their porch well, you know, that was it said about the mischief. That's the part I wanted to... Yeah, we we'll talk about it. Yeah, because it says, it says, in some cultures, money off... Uh, so let me read it again from there. It says, um, it's usually idle threat to perform mischief on homeowners or their properties if no treat is given. So it's to, to perform um, mischief, like to do, you know, to cause them some kind of harm and some kind of trouble. And the next point I wanted to yeah, read for you is um, uh, this part here. It says, the origin said, that since the Middle Ages, there had been a tradition of... Of, of momming on a certain holiday it involved going from door to door in costume performing short scenes look up that word momming momming come it's like uh, shout out, okay, okay. it's like things like theatre acting so like just press it